All right, this is Bob from Virginia Cage Fighting Championships. I'm here with Jason Quack Attack Quackenbush. He's taking on Devin Johnson at uh, Roanoke Rampage. Um, so, Quack, um, you've been reading a lot of things on the internet. Anything you want to say to your opponent, Devin? Well, then, Devin, I do respect you. I know you're a military man. You fought for our country and you boxed in the service. Now, I give you mad respect, and yeah, they trained you MMA on the beach. But you know, that's sand in the face. They don't teach you, you do you have to do that. You have to do that. Every day we do it because we want to. We out in there beating each other up, beating the hell out of each other four hours a day, sometimes two and three times a day. So we be getting it in, man. So you know, you, you talk a little garbage, you say you're ready for quack and, and everything, but I'm ready for you, I'm ready to bust you up. There's some guys out there on your team who need a rude awakening, and I'm ready to cut through every single last one of you. Now, I got a shot at the 155 pound VCC title. All I have to do is go through Fish Lips. After I beat Fish Lips, I fight Mr. Tess. After I beat David Tess, I'm going to fight for the 150 pound VCC. And I'm going to take that title. It's mine. I put in all the hard work. I can't sleep. I'm the one that dreams about it. I can't get nothing done. All I do is think about fighting. So I want it real bad. I got baby quack. I know Paul don't like this. I got baby quack and you want the rights of Baby Quack. But I tell you what, since Mr. Silver's backed out on the, on the deal we had with Baby Quack, I'll still bring him for you, Devin Johnson. And if you can somehow last with me, or even go to a decision with me, i give you the duck back. You ain't gotta win. If you go three rounds with me, i give you the damn duck. But yeah, you gotta beat me first if you want the duck. I'll give you the duck. But I'm gonna bust some ass. I'm gonna take that title. I'm gonna bring it back to Legion. And, you know, we represent, we put in hard work. And I want the title. What more can I say? I can't put it out any planner than that other than shut up. Also, there's a guy, Adam Lafferty. You might be a doubter. You think that me getting a title shot, it might be funny, but I earned my shot. I earned mine. I put in a lot of fights to get from where I'm at. You got one fight. And as a matter of fact, the fight looked like shit. And you know, you walk around on your high horse, you know, and you think you're high and mighty because, yeah, I respect Nick Buster and I look up to this guy. Yeah, you train with Star City Fight Club, but don't don't think you as bad as them. Don't think you something you're not. I'll bust your ass. If you really want it, Adam, talk to Nick. He'll talk to my guy, and we'll set it up. You know, if you really think that I'm not what I'm about, then you can come see me on the mat or in the cage. But I say it's doing it in the cage. It's giving people what they want to see. Nothing 30 seconds. All right, so... You're looking at fighting David Tace next if, if he is to win against uh, Sugar Shane. If, and if not, possibly a fight with Adam Lafferty. If possibly. I don't think that he can even deal with Shane. He, Shane will walk through his punches and eat him up, you know, throw him around so it's poor, pretty much pointless even talking about it. But if it's somehow a miracle that Shane gets run over by a car and he still rolls in there and he gets tapped out or something and he does win, then yeah, it'll be me and Mr. Tess fighting for the number one contendership of the VCC title. And I'm gonna take that title. It looks better around me. I look more like a champion. I fit champion. I'm gonna be the champion. I deserve it. Not this punk. All right, so August the 10th, you're fighting Devin Johnson. Anything else you wanna say to the fans, Quack? Anything to the fans? Yeah, thank you so much for always being here supporting me when I had nothing else, when I'm ready to quit, when I look at these little kids and they run up to me and they ask me for my autograph and they tell me, do it for them, do it for them. I do it for me and the kids, me and the kids. That's it, man. So I got a whole lot riding on this. Like I always say, I do it for the kids, God. I do it for the kids and I'm going to prove a point. All right, August the 10th, William Byrd High School, uh, Roanoke Rampage 2. We'll see you there. Thank you.